good. Hello. Hey guys. Hi. It's just What's Andy. Hung over on a Wednesday Andy. morning. Yes, magical Wednesday. Okay, we're You've heard of Thirsty Thursdays. Get ready for Thirsty Tuesdays. Sure. Drinking on the weekday. <laughs> Alcoholism. We don't know. <laughs> Many of things. But we're gonna talk about yeah, it. It's Stephen King, the new Stephen King movie. Not the not the books or the uh the old television. I mean they'll come they'll come up, but like we're not gonna review those. Yeah, I haven't seen them. I don't have the patience to read I read the book the length of the Bible. Uh the Bible's pretty good, I think. The Bible's pretty Jesus. good. Jesus. Jesus. My favorite character is Jesus. Um the uh we try to do spoilers, no spoilers? No, nah, like, there's spoiler written. Hard spoilers? Yeah, big time. Okay. So, like, I would see the movie first, or don't if you don't care, then be my guest. This is just a fair warning. Cause, like, it was a good movie. Go see it. I thought, yeah, well, it, it was a spoiler-free thing. I liked it. I think horror movies now, uh, there's not many good ones, and I thought this was pretty good. I thought this was, like, it was new, and it was fresh. It was also pretty true to the original, and from what I hear pretty true to the book, even though they cut out some of the weird shit, which, like, makes sense why they cut out some of the weird shit. Yeah, some of the shit in the book, obviously, wasn't going to be able to be put on screen. It's giant fucking magic turtles and shit. I think that's the second movie. No way they put it in, though. They might. I mean, I don't know why they wouldn't. Uh, that is more obvious. That's digressing. <laughs> Well, it's more obvious why, like, that could be in versus Child Orgy in the sewers. We'll get to that <laughs> also. But that's not in the movie. Spoiler. Sorry, Jared. The, um, <laughs> uh, um, yeah, where, where to begin? Um, I thought all the kids were really good. Yeah. I was, I was genuinely surprised at that. I thought there was going to be, like, a weak one. Like, yeah, all the child actors were really good. They, like, all were really solid. Um... I thought Richie's one-liners were real funny. They were, like, kind of pissing me off in the beginning. Because I was like, they seem real forced. It was annoying at first, but they got better as it went. Like, you're like, he's not going to do this for the whole movie. It's like shit and then, and then you turn And then you turn around on it. At least I did. And I was like, ah, oh, it's pretty good. Like, yeah, by the end, I was like... You expected it. My favorite kid was the hypochondriac kid. It just sucks I can't remember his name. Let me just look it up. It's, uh, Bill's, like, the leader. Bill? Beverly. Beverly, Ben. Ben, Mike. Richie. Richie. And, uh, the bullies, too. I, they had them all. It's just, like, classic. Wait, Seth Green was in the original? Yeah, apparently. It's also on top of I mean, I looked it up. Yeah. Um, Cass. Bill, Ben, Beverly, Richie, Mike, Eddie was the hypochondriac yeah, kid, and yeah, then Stan, favorite. Stanley was the uh, the Jewish kid. The Jewish kid. Eddie was my favorite by a lot. I thought the effects were overall they got were better after the first scene. Uh, the first scene was also fucking jarring. The first scene was surprising because they usually avoid child gore, like to have a kid. Get like brutally murdered, and this kid got brutally murdered, and he basically was brutally murdered, and like the fucking disciplined, delinked, and uh, I thought the bite on that was like pretty bad. I mean, I think like even if it wasn't great looking, I thought it looked all right. Like it caught me off guard because it like looked so surreal to like. How gritty it all looked in that scene. It, I thought the CGI every other spot of the movie was fine because it went for like they were kind of like hallucin like hallucinating. It was like hallucinogenics when they're in like that was just like a in those real quick and it was like caught me. I mean I wasn't ready for it. So I think I was just more surprised that I mean I thought I was gonna do the ah the black screen or like a zoomed out shot, like so far away and he like just screamed. I assumed he was just going to get pulled in the sewer. I knew that he got his arm ripped off because I've skimmed through the book before. Yeah. So I didn't know if it was ripped off or bit off. I expected it to happen. I didn't expect him to show it. I expected him. 
could just be fade to black or Especially him fucking crawling away. Yeah. Fuck, dude. Did he come out and rip him back in? Okay. Yeah, he pulled his arm came out and fucking pulled him back in. Ripped him. It's fucking uh I don't even understand like why he would be so angry that he lost the boat anyway. To be honest. Like, yeah, you can just make a new boat. It's a piece of paper. It's a piece of fucking paper. With wax. I think we've had plenty of wax. And you know, like when we think about it, that opening scene, how long was that opening scene? Maybe like Let's say, like, uh, in, in real movie time, let's say maybe that took 10 minutes. Make another fucking boat. Oh, him making the yeah. boat? Oh, the, he did not have to fucking talk to this creep. He could have solved this whole fucking movie. Well, it wouldn't solve <coughs> anything. He still would have been killing people. But, like, I think a town, like, from the movie perspective, some of the things I thought. So, like, in terms of movie, before I start speculating on extra backstory plot lines. Uh, movie was good. A lot of the scares were pretty solid. I thought everybody's like fears kind of thing that they were doing. This one, I I didn't think this movie was scary. I mean, I closed my eyes during the clown scene because I don't like clowns. And I don't mean that like anytime Pennywise was on there. It was just that one uh, Richie's horror scene. It was creepy. It the wasn't scary. The movie's not like scary like you're getting nightmares, but it's like visually like. Jump scares, but. Very minimal. There were a couple. A couple, but a lot of the texts are pretty good. It's like it's like more psychological than a, like coming in your face, like not like bullshit that gets shoveled out. Yeah, it wasn't like compared to like The Conjuring or like Paranormal Activity, where it's like, hey, we're trying to scare you. This is like Paranormal Activity. The first one was more subtle, and I thought it was the idea is good. But I just didn't like the. I love the first one. I thought they all saw. I love the first one. I saw the first one. On, well, I went, I got on DVD. I saw it in theaters, which was good. And then I was like, oh, well, maybe, like, I needed to see it in the movies. And then I went to see it. And I was like, I can't believe I paid money to see this. No. Yeah. I don't know. It's like, I don't, we, we digress. We are way off topic. We should not be talking about paranormal activity in the same vein as this movie, because this was much better. Much better. Um, where do you want to go with it? You were, you were summing stuff up. You go into uh, the horror scenes were good. Uh, the the fight scene or like the confrontation at the end is pretty, it's pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, it has your uh, your normal horror tropes like oh, don't like, somebody wanders off by himself and like all that kind of stuff happens. And you think they would be smart enough by this point in the movie to not wander off because every time they wandered off, they got. Fox. Basically, they figure out that, like, oh, it doesn't have as much power. Like, it can't scare all of us at, at the same, same time. time. But everybody still feels the need to, like, separate themselves. Even when they, like, even when it's, they make it known that they know that that's what yeah. is happening and it still happens. Um, yeah, the cast was good. The city environment had that nice, like, old, old yeah. party. Feel the like the setting. Yeah. Uh, I thought the the actor who was uh, Pennywise was good. I thought he was the kid from um, that fucking one movie where the it's a fake family. They drive the RV because they're smuggling weed. He was supposed to play him, uh, but like Bill uh, Angelina Jolie. Yeah. Or no, Chris. Yeah, not Angelina Jolie. It's, yeah, it's fucking um. Oh, the fucking girl, Jeff Aniston. Yeah. Yeah, I don't meet the meet the Millers. Meet the Millers. I thought yeah. that kid was supposed to play him, but the dude who played him Definitely. in in the yeah. actual movie was really good too. I hope he like he's not in a lot of stuff. I hope he gets real popular. I thought he was. Uh, at first, I was like, I don't know about the voice being like uh, creepy enough, but then I definitely like all of those concerns. I feel like were washed yeah. away. He's excellent. He was unnerving. Like I don't know. Like in the beginning, I was like. I'm just fucking creeped out by this. Like, oh, he's like a nice little clown in the sewer. But his voice was just like... I don't even remember if they explained, like, was he a clown always? Or, like, why was the thing down there, like, the <coughs> circus shit? He was just a circus. I don't know if they ever... I feel like they do somewhere. I don't... Explain Pennywise. I, maybe. I don't remember yeah. the origin. Because, like... I know, like, the turtle's, like, a god or something. Yeah, turtle's, like, fucking... 
they're they're like both God, the yin and yang, and like the turtles like the good and the bad. Well, they actually had a lot of like fucking throwbacks to that. They had like turtles all over the place. Like when um, Phil first sees um, fucking it's a kid's name. Which one? Georgie. Uh, when he first sees Georgie in the house, he's holding a Lego turtle. Uh, There's like little shit like that, which I mean like. I mean, Subtle, that's actually a nice touch. I didn't even like. Part two it's... goes into pre production, I think. Who's it coming out next year? I, I think it's going into pre production next year. I heard so next 20... spring, so. So 2019 spring? I'm gonna say 20. I'm gonna. My, my guess is Halloween 2019. Alright, so they don't say chapter two until 2019. Well, that's a, it depends how fast. I'm surprised they didn't just do it back to back, like how they're doing the, the well, new Avengers movies. Well, it doesn't matter because half the cast has to be redone because they're they still the kids. Yeah, there's still kids in it. Like the, I think the kids have some teeth in it, but you think like just to be like, hey, well, like this, we're you know, you watch this, and then like you know, six months later, here's it part two. But I, I don't think the problem with that is that they didn't know how well it was going to do. I think yeah, that was the biggest thing. They didn't know how it was going to do. The um. All those other movies like haven't performed very well at the box office. Even though I do think there's other movies based off his work that are really good. Uh, the Shining, obviously. Yeah. Uh, Misery, sir. I like that. Like Misery. So two that jumped out at me like, off the top of my head. I think that there's a lot more, but this was probably the best. I wrote a list on it. I think it was like <sighs> about 20 movies. I think <coughs> The Shining I like more, but I know that it has like a very. I like not. I know he doesn't like that. Well, it's not a good the book. It gets totally yeah, different. That's like I know he This is more faithful to the actual book. But yeah, I like I say, they cut out shit that you can't put in the movie, like the orgy scene in the sewers. Yeah, it's which like, would have been fucking weird. It would have been weird. Because these kids are literally like fifteen. You know, they're not old. I thought they would have been younger, but I think they're fifteen. I think I looked it up. I think well, I mean, I know that the kid from Stranger Things, I know he's like fifteen. And No, I meant in the movie. Were they in high school? They were in middle school, high school. Yeah, okay. They were in middle school. It <laughs> <laughs> was a great show. It was. Um, but yeah, they yeah. took out like one of the, the bullies that like, kills a kid's dog and some shit like that. It's like real like, yeah, they, like gory. Cut his gory. Name, yeah. Obviously, yeah. Stab his own name. Just leaving your evidence behind. I was surprised that he fucking killed his dad. No. Yeah. Well, he, uh, they, showed, <laughs> they showed him carving... The uh, thing on the, the, the kid's stomach. Yeah, Ben's belly. That was a lot. It was. I was like, why would you carve your own name? Like, who did this to you? I, I did it to myself. Why, why would you carve it? Henry's name? Yeah, why would you write Henry on your stomach, <laughs> you fucking <laughs> idiot? You fucking big oaf. <laughs> that bullies were, like, not even above your normal bully. Like, it wasn't even, like, hey, fatty. And then, like, yeah, they bumped were... them. Or, like, some shit. Or, like, even, like, jumped them. It was, like... I'm gonna carve my name into it. It was like, like fucking violent. It was more <laughs> violent than like punching them and like shit. It was like stabbing. And, and like let's fucking... let's push you down a mountain and then follow you. Even the rock fight. What fucking kids have rock fights? That's a dumb idea. Well, they had to have the rock fight. They had to assert their dominance over the bully. And they did. And then that fucking he came back and tried to kill him. Well, then but he was didn't. hypnotized. Then. I don't know. I That's why like... I killed his dad. It was good. But I feel like that was like all underlying. Like, I don't think he liked his dad. His dad treated him like a bitch. Well, it seemed like everybody had issues with the family. It seemed the like fears were also really cool. I liked how they did that. That was very well done. Like everybody's respective scares. Yeah. Right. I mean. Uh. Yeah, like I said, I'm I'm excited for part two. I don't know how they're gonna. I have to see who the uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. play adults. I'm excited for a casting. I don't know if they're gonna try and get big people now because um, they can. I don't know. It's like there's a lot of extra characters that come into play. Like I think everybody's like married or like their significant others are like involved. I think a couple are, but I know fucking doesn't Beverly and like Ben get married or something. No, yeah. none of them. None of them get married. Or something. Well, like in the movie, don't they like get back? 
that they get together and no, do some shit like that. They never. Um, it's funny because uh, that none of them because they would it's expect like because they she leaves at the end. Yeah. But they all have like they, none of them are like uh, dating or married to anybody else in that group. Even though it like seems like yeah, they would either Beverly and Bill or Beverly and you know, Claire. But I'm pretty sure that they're all separate because I think yeah. she never comes back from wherever where she was. Right. I think it was like Port Lane, Portlandia. But um, all right. So I'm gonna go. This is a speculation. Speculation part of it in terms of like lore, I guess. The lore of all yeah. right. So I think the town's in on it. I've decided. Okay. Um, and my main point is that, like, no one gives a fuck that the kids are just... There's a lot... Like, it's not even, like, people are just going to miss it. It's, like, kids are Children. Leaving. So, either, like, in a, in a normal sense, you'd be like, there's a fucking child murderer on the loose. Yes. And it seems like no one cares. Gives a fuck at all. Like, I know they have the curfew in effect for, like, seven But that, that's bullshit. Like, curfew is, like, like fucking rats. Yeah, ass. it's literally, like, that's, like, a slap on the wrist level. Like, there's no, like, uh, neighborhood watch, maybe, or, like, extra. But it was also activity. just, like, the curfew doesn't mean shit, because it's still, stuff still happens during the day. No, I know that, but I'm saying, that's what makes me think, like, it's, like, yeah. if, they're, if they're doing, like, nothing, and if, like, you were in a town like that, where it seems pretty close knit in terms of like it's not that big yeah like well we have other sh- shit going on like this seems like a small town enough to where like it'd be a big deal that children are just being consistently murdered consistently murdered or going missing missing yeah so like I think they might be on it I just can't <coughs> explain like how or why so wait, so also at the end of the movie when all the kids were floating around and shit and they came back down, were they all fine? No, they're all dead. Georgie's dead. Like, well, I know Georgie was dead, but all the kids that were floating and shit around that fucking no, spot. I think they're all dead too, I think. Because it's just that Georgie was fine. Like when you saw him. Like no, none of those kids are just, they're all dead, I'm pretty sure. I don't know why they were floating though. Harvesting your essence or some shit. They'll float too. Oh, that makes sense. I get that now. They're floating. Yeah, They'll float too. Into the dead lakes. Yeah, that's the. Yeah, yeah, that was the shit. Well, that that was like the they changed it from like that, and it was like when he opened his mouth, that was what happened. Mm-hmm. That was like the different. Yeah. It's. Uh, I can see it like that. I mean, I don't know how the town would be in on it. I mean, I I think that makes sense. I don't know how, like, if they're, not that I'm saying that they're, like, actively working with the clown. Or, but like, they're just, like, we maybe know the, the city happened. is the clown at the same, maybe it is it at the same time. Like, that would be interesting. And, like, maybe it's influencing, like, anybody that tries to be, like, well, like, all these kids are going. And That's the like, other it thing. It just, like, subdues them. You don't know if, like, it's playing, like, just because it's not taking adults. They're just still like, oh, hey, chill out. Nothing's wrong. Yeah. Like, Even though some shit is clearly fucking... Yeah, it's just lulling wrong. them into, like, the security. I mean, that could be part of it. I, it just seems odd. Like, it, there is very little, like, oh, uh, whatever. Yeah. I did, like... <laughs> this is just a funny thing I noticed when the bully... I think it's Henry was his name, yeah. I'm pretty sure. He shows up at the house at the end, and then Ben literally just murders him. And Did Mike kill him? What? Mike oh, Mike Kellen. It's Mike Kellen? I think Mike flips him in the... Whoever, whoever throws him in the well, no one gave a fuck. That he basically... You just he 100% fucking, dead. He killed him. Yeah. He fucking killed he him. He just murdered a kid. This high... This fucking bully... Gets murdered, and then they're like... Time to go find Pennywise! Thank God. Thank God he's dead. Get him out of my... <coughs> I laughed at, like, the literally, like, Oh, my God. Like, he was saying, like, Holy shit, I just, like, murdered that guy. It was just whatever. like... Oh. Yeah, whatever. Dead. You, know, you punch me in the face. One less problem. You ruined my summer. Yeah. And now you're going to make me kill this summer, fucking class. Summer is supposed to be fun. The, uh... Yeah. Back to, I'm trying to think of, like, a feel like we covered. Yeah, I mean, like, like I said, it was a good movie. It was... A lot of, like, subtle effects that I like. Like, him being, like, the photos. Or, like... The dancing scene was the best scene in the fucking movie. 
It made me laugh to that when you all it's really scary. The best fucking it's turned into like a, a meme of, machine. Pretty much. It's turned into like inserting music over it. I think I like That was just creepy because everything moved besides his head. Yeah, it was a nice touch. Like, I liked how like, like they fil- like they did it. They like filtered. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think because like it was like the painting woman was pretty. She was creepy in real life. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the she picture, was eating the kid's face. The picture was fucking weird too. Because like, why would you even have it in your office? It's like fucking. It was like a weird hand me down or some shit like that. I don't know. It was in the church. It wasn't even like a fucking. Oh, yeah, that was the dude's office. Yeah, that is actually very weird to have. It wasn't even like it was his fucking, like, his own office. It was yeah, like, no, that was in the fucking synagogue. The, the synagogue, like, I guess he was the high priest or whatever. He was the, the rabbi or the something like that. that. He was in charge of like, yeah. the pastor, if you will, of the synagogue. And he basically had this weird painting in there. Like, it was like, it, it looked worse than, like, the screen. Yeah. Which wouldn't, like, Obviously, I don't find that scary, but, like, it was, like, that amplified to, like, even be more distorted, and it was just weird that it would be in there, I guess, of all things. Yeah, like, in his office. It was in the, it was in the slideshow, it was obviously in the trailer. Yeah. The uh, he's in the, the picture of, like, the town hall meeting, the inaugural. Yeah, and then they, uh... At the and so end, is that real, that he's in there? I think it was real at one point, or like he was with the fucking clown, like the circus. And then, um... And then at the end, they uh, zoom into a picture at the end of the hallway, and there he is, sitting in the front of a happy ball. No, it's a different movie. I know. He, he, no, no, he wasn't in... No, oh my God, Jack Nicholson was in it. Oh my God, Jack Nicholson was in it. That fucking uh, movie, so good. That'll be another one of these, maybe. <laughs> Shining? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we'll talk about more than one movie in that, though. Being said, that's, like, not new ground. Because, obviously, there's probably 80 bazillion 80 people. gajillion people. People that have probably seen it. And I like The Shining. I like it, too. Jack Nicholson. <laughs> you something. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know any of his lines. You'll yeah. come in here when I'm tip tapping away. Something like that. Here's the Johnny. Here's Johnny. That's it. All right. You know what? Uh, <laughs> Dude, the, the whole <laughs> of the movie. <laughs> 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 oh, so why don't you do what I just told you and get the fuck out of here? <laughs> that's, but <laughs> that's actually pretty solid <laughs> ending of it. But, uh, yeah, that's our thoughts. I'd give it, uh, percentage-wise, well, I know what it is, I guess. I fucking, I, I hate giving shit. Out of, out of a 10, or 100%, like, what would you say? Yeah. Well, assuming at 50, an average means 50%. 8 or 9? 8 or 9? I'd probably go in that 80 to 90. Yeah. 8.5. 8. I'd say 85%. So, for horror, horror I would rate it, like, based against other movies that are coming out, I'd definitely give it higher, I guess. Like, it's weird, because it's like... Because I've seen absolute dog shit recently, like, Bye Bye Man sucks ass, and that was awful. I can't think of why it was bad, but, like, it wasn't, like... It's not a flawless movie. It falls to the same things. They do do a lot of new things, though, that I like. I like the more... I tend to usually like more realistic stuff, in terms of, like, it's a killer, and he's just a guy, versus, like... uh, This movie, I liked still, though. And it's like, it means even more than I liked it, I guess, because it's yeah. out of my normal thing, my normal type of horror that I like. When you have the omnipotent, or like the fucking, like, godlike, like, this guy can't be killed. He can't kill got, Pennywise, he just kills kids. It's kids, yeah. <laughs> well, he wasn't invincible, which makes it better. Yeah. But, like, the movies where they're, like, invincible, it's, I feel like it's done, overdone, I guess. I don't know, I like it more when it's, like, the guy's, like, stalking you, and you're like, oh, fuck, like, who's trying to kill me, and, like, everything's real subtle, and it's, like, grounded in reality. But there is a place, obviously, for, like, the over-the-top, like, uh, like, like supernatural. Yeah, like, I think they did it well, because it was, it's like, a fine balance, this is like, a supernatural yeah. being, but you can kill it, which they did, or kill it for 37 years, or 27 years. No, it's subdued, they don't officially kill it, yeah. But I feel like they think they killed it. They do think they killed it, but they killed it with, like... They killed it for 25 years, or whatever the fuck They only sent it back because they, like, think... 
all the horror movies, they seem like silver bullet. Yeah. You know, shit, so they, like, do that. Yeah. And, like, obviously, he's not a werewolf. He's not a fucking werewolf. Oh, well, we're gonna stab him with a stake. He's a, he was actually Dracula. He's That'd be fucking good. <laughs> That'd actually be pretty good. Fucking solid. plot twist of the century. It just goes back to, uh, the old Lagos, he's like, Oh, Dracula film. It just plays that. So and that's it. I'd that's the It that. just cuts to it. It's the full other movie instead. <laughs> I'd be completely okay with that. I wouldn't. I'd go and be like, um, this took two years to just use old footage, basically. You guys just cut this and it took two years? Yeah, that sounds like this video will go up for like two years. <laughs> the rate and all the other ones are gone. All right, everybody. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. Thanks. See you for, soon. Yep. Bye-bye.